I'm gonna get it together this time. This is only like take 27. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Hot Mess Express, as we like to call it. Um, Liz. And Jen. We are over in my kitchen today, um, and we're gonna talk about painted countertops. Yes, I painted my countertops, and it's been four years now. So um, I used to blog at Naptime Decorator, and I wrote all about it over there, and I still, even though I stopped blogging years ago, I'll still get like emails and questions asking about the painted countertops. And the thing people want to know is how they're holding up. So I figure this is a perfect chance to show you guys since it's been four years. Um, would I do it again in a heartbeat? So um, we like to paint everything. We like to paint everything. Jen and I share this common bond <laughs> for painting all the things. I think things. it's how we... Kind of I think it is. Friends, I think it but... is. Like, oh, you love to paint everything. <laughs> I love to paint everything. So we started with just normal furniture, right? And we've expanded yeah, to that like. That was one of my first projects, actually. My dad would not really let me redo my room. I had all these grand ideas, yeah. and so I painted a dresser, which my parents still have in my house. We got a um, picture of that. Yes, I will say. get a picture yes, one day. Where but it all began. Yes, started when I was little, Jennifer. Yeah. But yeah. So you can paint counters. You can paint floors. You can paint all the things. So. We're going to take a closer look and I will show you up close and personal how these counters are holding up four years later. So we'll turn this around. Okay, so quick little backstory. I actually owe my big sister Katie all the credit for this one because I was over at her house years ago and she had kind of sort of just moved in um, and she had a wet bar in her basement with this little um, laminate countertop and she painted it and was telling me all about it. She had read it somewhere or a friend of hers used it, I don't remember. And I was so intrigued. I'm like, this is amazing. Like I was feeling it. I'm like, it felt durable. It felt strong and it looked great. And I had this unfortunate laminate countertop in my kitchen. Um, and I was like, Kate, I have got to try this stuff. So I'm not even kidding. I, she sent me off my way that day from her house with the gallon that she used of the poly coat, which I'll tell you about. Um, and so I, and I couldn't wait to get started. Um, so, so Jen and I are like such firm believers in you don't have to wait to love your home. Like you can make it work, you know, and make it pretty and, and make it, it, it'll bring you joy if you just put in a little TLC into these things. Um, and so all I did to make my hideous laminate countertop was some chalk paint and some poly. And so what I did first was I taped around the sink. I just put some painters tape to protect that. And then I just got out my sander and just did like a light sand on the counters and wiped it clean. Um, and then I just took a foam roller just like this, like the kind for cabinets and stuff. And this stuff, which is Renaissance furniture and cabinet paint um, in dove gray, eco-friendly chalk finish paint. Um, and I just literally poured it into a thing and just started going. And I believe I did about three coats of that. Um, and then it was time to do the poly. And I don't have that here because I did return to my sister. <laughs> but um, it was a floor finish. I think it was from rust -Oleum. Floor finish, no odor, um, polyurethane in a gloss. And I read all the directions on the back. And I believe I ended up doing like five coats. Like you had to wait a certain amount of time before you do the second one. And then you had to wait a certain amount of time for the third one. But I don't know if you had to do five coats, but I was like, it can't hurt. And it's a small kitchen. So I just kept, you know, putting an extra coat on there just in case. And has it been perfect? No. There have been a couple little chips along the way. Yes. And we'll show you in a sec. Um, would I do it again in a heartbeat? I mean, it's been four years and we have a few chips, but like all in all, it's so much better than the laminate that I was living with, you know? Um, so Jen, why don't you come on a little closer and I'll show you some of the, like right here, you can see like some of the chips. It's definitely not perfect, but you know, I mean, overall it's fared very well for four years and being paint in a kitchen that we use a lot. We're a family of five. I love to cook. My kids, some of them love to cook. So we are in here clanging around doing stuff all day long. Um, so I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I will say this, I would be super, um, what's the word? So I would go heavy on the poly around the lips because the lips is where we've seemed to have had like the most chips. Um, on here, it has felt like solid and tough. 
Um, but around the lips is like, sometimes I feel like I didn't go quite as heavy with the poly coat on there. Um, so, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I was like, the cabinets or the counters were very unfortunate. And, but I was like, the cabinets are also very old and wobbly. It's like, why would we go and spend a lot of money on a really nice counter only to put them on like rickety old cabinets? So like, it was a perfect solution just to get us through until we can, you know, get some new cabinets, get some new counters. Um, so I highly recommend it. Um, and oddly enough, this is so funny, Jen and I just realized that this is the same brand that she used in our last episode to make her white laminate um, desktop in her office look like wood. Um, it's the same stuff. So um, yeah, so some some good stuff here. So it's fixed our counters. It's made her counter or her desktop look like wood. Some some really cool products. So just you know, get a little creative and. Um, and again, thanks to my big sister, Katie, for teaching me about this cool stuff. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> thanks guys. I wanted to show you one more thing over here. Um, one time uh, my kids were in the kitchen and put a um, hot frying pan directly on the countertops. And you can see right here, it just kind of left like a little ring. But I mean, seriously, for paint, like that's still not, not all that bad, right?